Howdy all, I'm Adam the Renaissance Nerd. Rachel Zegler, the gift that keeps on giving. This past weekend, we were graced with the Snow White live action trailer from D23. And it was everything we knew it was going to be. A CGI nightmare with Miss Rachel front and center, not being able to sing, looking like she rolled out of a bad cosplay bed with her unibrow and her mid-ass face, and probably not acting. Didn't get, didn't get a lot of her acting in it, but it's probably going to be shit because she's not a good actress. She's not anything special. She's been told all her life she's special, but she's not. And here's the thing. I said it. Many said it. It is now only a matter of time before Rachel Zegler once again creates controversy for Disney. Roughly eight, nine, maybe seven months ago, depending on how you look at it, she finished her run for the Hunger Games prequel movie, and Disney quickly put her on lockdown. They made her go do her reshoots for Snow White, and then she has been quiet ever since. I have it on good authority. The most she's ever done on her Twitter account is to basically be a narcissist and re retweet, reply, quote, stuff about her. Oh, I look so pretty. Oh, I'm so dainty. <laughs> and now she's been let out of the kennel. And as I said last week, when I talked about how insane her stand base is, the Zeglians, how horrible and hateful they are, it is no surprise to me that just last night, Rachel Zegler stepped in it. What am I talking about? Very simply put, she begins the marketing for some play she's in, some Romeo and Juliet shit, and then she says this. First, she says, I love you all so much. Thank you for the love. And over 120 million views in our trailer in just 24 hours. What a whirlwind. Yeah, not understanding that 95% of that 120 million views was roasting your god-awful movie. It's terrible. She's a moron. I am in the thick of rehearsals for Romeo and Juliet, so I'm going to get out of here. Bye for now. But then she has to add on and always remember free Palestine. Weird. Weird. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, I don't get political on this channel. Uh, those of you who are regular viewers, subscribers, you know I am of the Jewish faith. So I have a particular opinion on this whole situation. We're not going to get into that. That is not for here and now. That is not for this video. I will simply say that I am not surprised that a useful idiot like this pushes such a view. But the point of this video is this. She is a PR nightmare. Boom. Not 72 hours after the premiere, the trailer for her stupid live action movie. Here she comes and she steps in it. She gets involved in a very hotly debated, hotly discussed political topic because... That's what she's expected to do. She's expected to spout the hate. I showed you last week, her fan base supports that kind of hate. So, of course, she will see that from her rabid, zeglian, moron, retard, window-licking droolers. And she will say, free Palestine. She will say that. Not even probably realizing that, guess what? This is going to be a disaster for Disney, but she's been told all her life she's special. She's been told all her life that she is so some sort of actual great actress and singer and that she can do no wrong and that she'd be forgiven everything because she's pretty. Well, she's not pretty. She can't sing. She can't act. And she's never been in a movie that's made a profit. And Snow White live action is not going to make a profit because we learned over a year ago when they had to file taxes in the UK that they had already spent $209 million before the reshoots. Before reshoots. This thing is a CGI nightmare. That's before the CGI. This thing does not cost $209 million. This thing likely costs $300 plus million, which means they need 800, 900 million to even sniff at the break-even point. Disney needs every inch, every ounce of support this movie can garner. And when she starts to spout, free Palestine, 
She just makes this thing red hot toxic because now we have the situation. And here's the realistic situation. Her co-star, Gal Gadot, she's Israeli. She's Jewish. And now, here's what little Rachel does. Little Rachel. Now they have to go out together and market this thing. How do you think that's going to be? How do, what do you think that's going to be like? There's gonna be it's gonna it's gonna be a situation of wow they're so <laughs> there's a lot of tension in the air in these interviews because Rachel has to feed into the useful idiot guidelines just feed into it no one can say oh well, well Gal Gadot she's supporting that because it's her homeland it's her homeland that's where she comes from where she grew up where she served in the military there's no question that she's gonna support her homeland but what. What does Rachel have any have any stake in this? Rachel, well, listen. What is Rachel? Dre, half breed. Thank you, Dre. But that's the point right there. Gal Gadot has an ethnic and religious, cultural reason to speak out on this stuff. Rachel, who is half Latina, half white, probably a few other things in there, she has no cultural, religious, ethnic significance to weigh in on this except to be political, except to take a stance, an uneducated, hate-filled stance on this type of thing. Weird, weird. They've tried to rehabilitate Rachel all, uh, all along the way. They've tried to rehabilitate her. Remember last year, they gave us the Rachel and Hammerhead Hallie interview where they both pretended to be real people, talking about, I just ignore hate. I just do this. I'm a real person here. I'm a real person there. When... It was scripted beyond scripted belief. And that's about when they put her in the kennel and had her shuttled away out of out of out of the limelight because this got horrible. Look, you can see right here, this got ratioed. It got ratioed because nobody believes that these two cows are real. This one is fake and filled with hate, and this one is an annoying bitch. So there is no saving this movie because Rachel Zegler can't stop herself. She thinks she has a right to say things. She thinks she has the ability to tell everybody what to do. And I'll, I'll leave you with this, reminding you one more time. This is what she looks like on her Twitter history. Spewing hate, attacking Gina Carano, attacking Jeremy Renner, attacking J.K. Rowling, attacking everybody under the sun who believes in a different ideology than she does. Snow White, live action, March 21st, 2025. This movie is already going to fail, and now you have people who won't go see it because of Gal Gadot. You have people who won't go see it because of Rachel Zegler. Nobody's going to go see this movie. Nobody's going to go see it. Because Rachel Zegler not only is terrible in it, but she's a horrible person, and nobody wants anything to do with her. It's that simple. And with that, we're done. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, a like it would be very much appreciated. If you are new here, I invite you to subscribe to me right here on YouTube, where I hope to earn your trust and support using facts and logic, because facts and logic do not care about fake fan Stan and SGW Fifi's. Thank you again for watching. Take it easy. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out my gaming channel at Renaissance Nerd Arcade and follow me on X Twitter under at the Red Nerd. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy.